Hi, my name is Frank Watson, and I'm a pilot. I own a couple of airplanes, a single engine airplane, a multi-engine airplane, and I've been flying for over 30 years. So <clears throat> in all of those years of flying, one of the things that's always been a problem is when you get to an airport, is trying to find ground transportation. So over the years, people have tried different things, and uh, a lot of times all you need to do is you need to get a couple of miles away, maybe go to a restaurant, maybe get to a hotel. And I have had a fold-up bicycle for a, a number of years, a really cheap fold-up bicycle. This thing weighed 40 pounds, and it was cheap. It had cheap components, it was heavy, and I didn't care. I just wanted to test the waters and see what it was like to have a fold-up bicycle. So I did that for a number of years. No quick release wheels on it. The front wheel took a 9 16 wrench. The back wheel took a 5 8 inch wrench. 26 inch wheels would not fit in a baggage compartment of a small single engine airplane or a twin for that matter with the wheels on. So that meant taking the wheels off of it, putting the wheels in the back seat, putting the frame assembly in the baggage compartment. And it was a real hassle. And it was a really bad bicycle. And I am by trade also a distance bicycler. And I've bicycled my whole life. I've bicycled across the country from California to New York City. So I like to think to myself, myself as a bit of an authority on bicycles to start with. So with the advent of e-bicycles, which I really didn't care for e-bicycles, but when I went somewhere, I didn't necessarily want to go for a bicycle ride. I wanted transportation. I didn't want to be all sweaty. I didn't want to work out. I get that every day on my regular bicycle. So I said, let's try an e-bicycle. But here was the problem. The problem was the size of the bicycle. And when I got researching it, there were, I think I came up with four prerequisites for what I was looking for in a bicycle. One, and the, more, and the most critical thing was dimensions, how small it could be. Number two was the quality of it, something that had quality components. The third thing was the weight of it. It couldn't be heavy, it had to be light. Weight is everything in, on an airplane. So I wanted something that was light. And fourth, and also very, very important, as important as weight, was price point. I didn't want to spend $3,000. I didn't want to buy a motorcycle. I wanted to buy a bicycle, so price point. So I did a lot of research, didn't try a lot of e-bikes, rode one, I only rode one in my life. And I came upon, and I'll, and I'll mispronounce a lot of these names, so bear with me, but the Quayla Sport Volator, which is a 20 inch fold up bicycle that, uh, met all the prerequisites, I thought. Uh, a lot of it was a leap of faith because I didn't know about the quality of it. I didn't really know if it was going to fit because if you looked at it dimensionally, I believe that the bicycle showed a dimensions of uh, 32 and a half inches long and 26 and a half inches high. Uh, and check that out on the literature on their website. But I believe that that's what it was. And when I went to my baggage compartment on the airplane, and we'll walk over there quick. So, single engine airplane, 1967 Blanca Viking, very typical for a single engine aircraft as far as baggage area goes. So in the baggage area, and this is what I found to be important. When I ordered this and got the dimensions, their dimensions showed, I believe it was 32 and a half inches in depth long and 26 and a half high. And if you go to the baggage compartment and I measure inside of the baggage compartment, the inside of the baggage compartment is 32 and a half inches. So that's gonna be close. So, but then the height of it is a bit of a concern because the height showed at 23 inches. So remember, it's 23 and a half. The width of this, which really wasn't that important, was 20 inches. And I think they show 15 inches as a, as a fold up dimension. But when it came down to it, when I went to put the bicycle in it, I found that with a few uh, adjustments, so to speak, that it fit in really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bicycle again. We're gonna load it up, go on a little trip. So the first thing that I was really impressed with, with the bicycle was taking the bicycle down to put it into the compartment, how easy it was. Now, I timed myself a couple of times and I'm not gonna time myself today. 
but I did say that if you were in good practice in 30 seconds, you could do this. What I do to make this fit in here, it will fit in with the seat on, I take the seat off. The seat, which the, the seat post is where the battery is located, you can fold that down by taking the quick release lever, releasing it, go all the way down, lock it, fits in. But with the bottom of it sticking down, it adds a little bit of dimension to it. So as what I do <clears throat> for going in this airplane to make it simpler and to be able to put more bags in, I go down to the bottom here, and they have a can of plug on the bottom, called a can of plug, and I unplug that, which is just really simple to do, and I unplug that, and take, release it, and pull it out. Leave it inside, take the pedals, flip the pedals up, I put the pedal down in a position about like this, Quick release on the handlebars, rotate the handlebars up this way so they're out of the way. Then I take and release, take the safety latch off of it, and flip down the handlebars like so. The other safety release here, take this and then just swing it around like this. Put the handlebars in like this, and take the bicycle, which at 38 pounds. With that, I throw the seat in. And remember that 32 and a half inches, which was critical, and shut the baggage door. That's simple. So I'm going to go for a quick flight. We're going to unload the bike, show you how quick it goes together, and uh, let you know how this thing works. to destination it was a quick flight I just wanted to show you the get you the full effect so we're gonna unload now get our bicycle ready we're gonna go get a bite to eat up at the local restaurant so the, this is the reassembly real simple get seat something to remember is like if you take your seat out like this and to get the bicycle in there a little bit better don't forget to take this with you because I got thinking about that. I thought, what if I get the bicycle loaded up, load my baggage, and that's laying in the hangar? So always lay that where, uh, like, right up on here, so that when you go to get up in the airplane, you have to walk by. I think that'd be a good idea. So with that, 38 pounds, really easy. We just unfold. Get the pedal down out of the way. We unfold. Lock it in place, safety down, handlebars up, and latched in place. Rotate our handlebars down, put them in place, expand down, seat in. And hook our power cable up from our battery. I think it's a 30, six volt battery. We'll look at spec up on that. With about, they call it a 30 mile range. I'm really unsure of that. So there, it's ready to go. I'm really sh not sure about the range. I've ridden it um, up to, I think I've ridden it like 15 miles now with the pedal assist. And that's the other thing. We're not gonna get into a whole bunch of, you know, how these work. Most of you guys are e-bike guys. You know more about them than I do. All I know is the airplane end of it and how they fit in. Um, but this thing has, <clears throat> I said before, some really quality components. Shimano um, uh, derailleur system on it. Uh, and I call it a derailleur system. Uh, seven speeds. So you have seven speeds. 20 miles an hour is the maximum speed of it. I believe it's classified as a class two e-bike. Uh, pedal assist or a throttle. We just have a thumb throttle here. So that's really about it. So Paula Sports, Volator. Volator, by the way, is, I looked it up, it's Spanish for flying fish. Uh, they had me at flying. So it's really cool. So I'm off to the restaurant. Uh, I hope that uh, this helps anybody that might be looking for a bicycle. Some of the things to keep in mind, um, you know, like I say, the quality, the price point, $11.99, I think is the retail price on this. So uh, happy flying and happy pedaling.